quickly. Um, a bit of breaking news for you this evening. Brighton's Pascal Gross has signed a contract extension at the club until 2025. What do you make of that? Yeah, good signing. Uh, he, I think he has got to a really good start. Mm, this year he scored a lot, a lot of goals. Um, but yeah, I mean, why wouldn't you want to be part of that? <laughs> I mean, you know, I know that unless a big, big club comes in, and again, no disrespect to Brighton, but what they're building down there. That, that, the only thing I feel can de- uh, derail Brighton these next couple of seasons yeah. if people just start coming and <laughs> manage up. Yeah. Unless they're like Kukura. Yeah, you but... Get, how much they get for him? 70? 50? Something 50? Like, mad 50, something like that. Awful. Might be more than that. Awful. That is the problem with Chelsea, right? I mean, the, we, we've seen um, Thiago Silva. I don't know if you've seen the Thiago si- Silva interview that's doing the rounds. He was speaking... Was it was it Spanish TV? Brazilian TV he was talking to? What was it? Brazilian TV he was speaking to. And, basic, and basically said... There's too many players at the club now. There's over 30. They had to extend the size of the dressing room to fit everyone in. And that means when you've got that many players, there's going to be so many players each week not happy that they've not even made the starting 11. Mm. Um, you're going to get no consistency within the lineup because it's an impossible job to juggle it and try and keep everyone happy. Um, Frank Lampard now has become the first Chelsea manager in the club's history to lose his first four games. Um, if you look at there's um, a run of form it's on doing the rounds of social media out of his last 17 or 18 games he's only won once that's, got, when they, that's when they smashed Palace 3-0 yeah they've only got they've got games coming up Brentford then they've got uh, your lot away Arsenal away Bournemouth they've got Nottingham Forest then they've got tough games they've got Man City they've got Newcastle there, there is a chance it's, I think it's only those two games the Forest and the Bournemouth ones where they can pick up points realistically uh, maybe Brentford at home but that's a tough game um there, there is a chance that Frank Lampard could walk away from this little stint without one win under his belt. And if he did that, I think that would be the last time any club ever goes to him and says, can you manage ours? I think Frank Lampard's got to walk away. It's a basket case of a club. Um, I don't really understand why they brought him in in the first place. Mm. I don't understand what they were trying to get out of it. It was an uphill task beating, Bri- uh, beating Real Madrid at the best of times. When you've got a tactical genius in the dugout, you've got a chance in someone like Thomas Tuchel. Right, they for some reason sacked him. They brought in Potter, sacked mm. him. Then they brought back a manager they'd already sacked. I don't get any of it. Mm. I think Frank Frank Lampard should think of himself, not the club, and leave. Yeah, but listen, I, I agree with you. Should he should he walk away? I can understand why he wouldn't because he's a proud man. He's not going to want to walk away now because it, it looks it looks worse now if he walks away than if he went, waited to the end of the season and yeah, then walked away. Um, but it's 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 crazy because they sacked Potter because he was deemed not good enough. But Potter's a better manager than Frank, so. It, I, I get Todd Bowley what he's tried to do he's tried to appease the fans and what better way and if you can remember there are a lot of fans I think Andy Jacobs said it there was so many Chelsea fans that I spoke to that said when it was Lampard they were like no, take take his managerial career out of it that, that gets the fans back on side just let, help him, let him guide us through to the end of the season well it's turned into an absolute disaster like a disaster they looked at times again I know if, if they had a centre forward maybe it'd be different because they had opportunities last night Kante had a big one Kukure had a big one they didn't take the chances. It could have been a different game. But the fact that he's come in and not won a single game and he's lost absolutely every single one. As I said, if it was Potter, he'd be getting absolutely... Yeah. Well, no, if it, if it was any manager and they weren't a Chelsea legend, they'd be getting absolutely hammered yeah, right now. So, what, what Chelsea, I mean, if I was Frank, I probably would go, you know what, enough's enough. And also, get, get a new manager in. If you want Nagelsmann, because it looks like Enrique is not going to take the job. If you want Nagelsmann, get him in now Sign him up. Yep, here we go. But you, it starts at the end of the season. You will be our manager. Mm. Let him come in now. Even take training. Assess the squad. Um, see what players he wants to keep. Because he might see, again, he might see Conor Gallagher and go, do you know what? I can work with that. The sank in there like, I want to keep him. Um, Loft the cheek. Don't need him. I'll get rid of him. Uh, could, be, could be anyone. Do you know what I mean? Kovacic, yeah, he's been a top player, but I don't really think he serves mm. a purpose. Now, moving aside, let him pick up the players he wants to get rid of. Give you the list of players he wants in. And then get the ball rolling now yeah. rather than it be panic at the end of the season. Got to get Nagelsmann in. Then we've got to get the players in. Oh no, we've got to get these players out. Bring him in now. They're still, yeah. They've still they got nothing to play for now. Get a manager in. Let him assess the squad, who he wants, who he doesn't want and then start the season, day one, pre-season, ready to go. I agree. Let's actually hear now from the Chelsea boss. This is Frank Lampard. He spoke following each side's 4-0 aggregate defeat to Real Madrid in the Champions League quarter final. It was live on TalkSport last night. He said the club will be back. People will make a lot about this season for Chelsea because we've had so much success and the, the, the reality is this club's going to be back and it will take work and it will take maybe a bit of process and I think the fans appreciated the performance today and maybe this season they've had moments where they're not feeling like that so we have to lash on to that and get results for the end of the season, get performance for the end of the season and then okay, go again next year. Do you know what, you make some good points right but do you know what, 
a lot of people have said they've, they've signed a lot of players, which they have done. But I'm telling you, a top quality manager doesn't really matter. They've got the arrogance to, right. to get the so best out right. of the, to get these players. If Mourinho, yeah. I know Mourinho is not the answer potentially, but if you had a Mourinho or Tuchel or someone of this caliber in that dressing room, even though there's loads of players, you best believe they'll get it sorted. Hundred percent right. You you will pick your eleven. Your subs and D- just not deal, care. deal with it. The rest yeah. of you, I've not it's got time to worry point. about your feelings. Really deal with point. it. Yeah, uh, they've got players like Mudrik on an eight-year deal, Enzo on a nine-year deal. Um, these are players that I mean, Mudrik uh, as yet doesn't look like the player no. they paid nearly hundred million pound for. Enzo looks okay, but the reason I'm mentioning these two is they're on crazy length contracts. Yeah, and I think it's these type of decisions which Todd Bowley, who's so not a football man, thinks is the right thing to do because that's probably what they do in American sports. But it's not what you do in the Premier League. He doesn't know football. He's got rid of all the right people. He's got rid of them. Mm. And I include the fellow that mows the lawn. Yeah. So he's literally ripped the heart and soul out of this club yeah. and still expects them to perform. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I've heard they got rid of a lot of physios as well, stuff like that. So next season is a big reshuffle next season. They need to start getting things back right on the pitch. And, and usually Chelsea are a football club who we've seen in previous uh, in history will tell you that when they've had a bad season the following season usually ends You're in right. some kind of success yeah. but as I said I would get the manager in now get the manager in let him get his points across get the players in he wants the, get, let him give you the list of the players he wants the players that he doesn't want and then at least the, the moment the season starts next season pre-season you know exactly where you're going with this there's going to be a big fire sale at Chelsea isn't there they've got to get rid of a lot of players because they've got to generate a lot of money to comply with financial fair play who do you see possibly leaving the club well, you've got to think the likes of... I mean, they've got to generate money, so... I, I like Conor Gallagher, but I think he's shown this season that he's maybe not quite up to the level of what Chelsea are expected. I, I mean, I was shocked that he played last night. So maybe he's one that I think certain clubs out there, Palaces, will pay a lot of money for because he is a good player. He's, in, he's an England international. Yeah. I think Loftus-Cheek has been there for some time now. And it's almost like we're still waiting for Loftus-Cheek to... The potential is going to be good. No, I think his time's done now. I think they need to let him go. Callum hudson Adoy. Again, he's another one they can generate a little money for. There's the, if it, even Kubali. Now, I know he's only just got there, but I think he's someone you need to look really? at. Yeah, he's not been great at all. Okay, let, at me, all. Check, let me check a few others that you... Kai Havertz, what do you do with him? See, I don't know if I'd get rid of him yet because he's a good player, but I just don't think he can be your number nine. I think if he's a good okay. player, you can't... No one can sit here and go, he's rubbish because he's not. So when he was playing in Germany, he was playing the sort of deeper role yeah, than 10. Look, look how good he was. Yeah. I think if you can get a, a, a recognised centre forward to play with him, he'll be better. Okay. Raheem Sterling, what happens to him? I'd give him another year. I yeah. think, I think, yeah. And play him in the correct position. Yes, I'd, I'd than give him another back. year because you look at his numbers over the last couple of seasons, he's yeah. been good. I'd, I'd give him another year. Okay. Um, what happens to uh, to um, Chelsea fans now with regards to the rest of the season? Do they do they still do, do any Chelsea fans think there's nothing to play for? I can't be bothered. If other things are coming up, for argument's sake, City Arsenal next Wednesday, mm. it should be. I mean, it could decide the league title. Yeah. Fa- all football fans will be fascinated by this game. Mm. I'll be watching it. If you're a Chelsea fan, you've got a season ticket for for Brentford at home. Will you be watching that? Yeah, I think so. I, I mean, listen, I can't see again. Personal, my dad, yeah, season ticket holder at Chelsea. I can't see him sitting at home watching City Arsenal. But there will with be Chelsea at home. But there, your dad's a diehard fan. Die there will, hard, there yeah. will be, as there is at every club, a football fan. In this case, Chelsea that goes, yeah, I'll go. I'll go to the game. But then when you've got a bigger game, they go, actually, I can't bother. Yeah, there'll be a few, but I can't see them. I mean, I think the majority of Chelsea fans are still going to go and watch their side. Okay, but. I think there's a lot needs to be done between now. I think the process for next season needs to start now, okay. not in the summer. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.